At a global scale, there are many things that are threatening coral reefs, and the Red Sea, unfortunately, is subject to all of these same types of pressures. It's almost like a, a little cradle of evolution for corals, and there's a high amount of endemic coral, so corals that you find nowhere else on the planet in the Red Sea. I don't think the situation is getting better for the dugongs. The future of these animals is unknown. In the last three years, we received reports of 14 different injured turtles, most of them due to speedboat propellers. The redness tells us what's threatened, it tells us where they are, tells us what the threats are, it gives us some indication of what the measures are. We will use the Red Sea as a laboratory to study what's going on in a such area, what will be the impact of very high temperature on the different places. Probably one of the biggest issues that we have and that I have is the fact that people still have no idea what extra sharks are like. The best thing for me to do from my own side is to try to share education with the people which is working in the long sea but also uh, anywhere else look like marine turtle bones, and they're really a lot. The more you know, the, the more you, you get touched and you, you want to do the best for them, that they are safe, and they also give you a lot back. You see boats, when the weather was fine, anchoring on, on top of the monster. Now the reef is like uh, empty, it's like boat. There is high chances that we have got the dugong here now, Unfortunately, there's plenty of snorkelers on the surface, as you can see. I had to give up the privilege of living next to my family or like to be able to travel. Yeah, it's a choice that I have made and I would do that every time.